Right, so tonight we're going to try and make up for lost time. It's time that you guys lost watching the last video. We're going to do a real quick potato soup. This is a recipe I've been cooking for about 15 years. It's awesome. It's cheap. Like, I mean, cheap. You can feed four people for about $4 cheap. And like anything good, starts with an onion. Anything good, except for the last thing I cooked for you, which finished with an onion, which is also good. So, defrock that bastard. The other thing that I totally forgot to tell you about chopping onions last time, which is really important, is if you want less pain, try not to breathe through your nose. Because the more of the gas that you get in your nose, the more you're going to suffer. This one, we're just dicing as fine as we can. It's hurting me already. Right, one onion destroyed. Come this way. Put a really good slug of olive oil on the bottom here. Chuck that in there. Wash the board. Extraneous utensils can just stay there. Next step is cumin. Now, you mm. want a lot of cumin. It's the basic flavor in this, so I'll say like about a tablespoon, and maybe a bit more, and I might even add more later, depending on how it tastes. Try to set light. I'll go get it. Do do. Where's the lighter going? Getting a lighter. Over here. Brilliant. Now we're just going to get a bit of colour on the onions, get them sort of half weighted, caramelised, delicious. Okay, so potato soup requires potatoes. Potatoes are cheap. Use the ones with red skin, they're more nutritious, and leave the skin on because there's fuck all nutrition in the spud to start with, and the, most, the bulk of it is in that skin and directly under it. Chop these just a little bit. You bastard. I'm trying to be swift here. Using about five or six buds here, so let's say six. But a little bit is completely uninterested at the moment because there's no meat. Hang on a sec. Ooh, and yeah, I have been requested to perhaps cook some meals that aren't entirely full of meat and fat. And so here we go. This is a good wholesome vegetarian dish. Cheap and delicious. There's probably enough spuds. I'll see what it looks like in the pan. That needs to go for another minute or two, so we'll come back in just a second. We opted for seven spuds because they were mingy. So, seven spuds go in with the largest onion I could find. Get them all coated in that oil. In goes bay leaf. Ooh, I can find one. There you go, nice sized bay leaf. <laughs> to be honest, that's all the flavouring we really need. I'm going to put just a smidge of thyme as well. Half, half tablespoon. These things are all, you know, whatever you feel, these quantities. However you feel, we're going with the vibe. Okay, that's delicious and coated. Water, got some here. Probably like two litres. Or oh, how much your kettle holds. Uh, more. I'm probably going to add more to that too. Uh, and a bit of stock. Now, I couldn't find the good stock. You want to get the Vegeta stock, or Vegeta as I like to call it, because it's really, really good. This one, wow, man, it's green. I don't even know how this is going to go. Marcel, they make terrible stocks. Don't even bother. Yeah, that smells odd. Anyway, a teaspoon of that. We'll see how it goes. Temperature can go up on that, like full blast. And I put a bit more water and bring it to the boil. And then we're halfway there. Alright, see you in a bit. Had to get an obligatory cameo of Maximo Flash, but unfortunately he's hiding and I've got no idea where he is. Is he under my desk? No, I can't see him. Is he under my chair? No, I can't see him. Is he in my cupboard? No, he doesn't seem to be in my cupboard. I have a sneaking suspicion that he might be under the journey. Yep. No. No, you're not there? Yeah. I haven't found you? You don't know if I found you or not. You're totally confounded. You're gonna hide again? Yeah. So you admit that it is you and you were hiding and I did find you. Uh, don't find me. Listen to your mum. Deny everything. <laughs> anyway, is Nick summoning me back? No, 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 no. Do you have anything to say to yourself? I don't up. Dot up? What, huh? I don't up. Daddy won't. Load up Daddy won't. Load up Daddy won't. We've already loaded up Daddy won't. That is what we've done. Okay. Yeah. Um, I forgot to add pepper before, but I've got black pepper this time, which is way better than white pepper, obviously. Loads of that, like I mean loads of it, that's bubbling away. So this whole meal takes about as long to cook as it takes for the potatoes to get soft. So, so that's cool, quick and easy. Now, this is the trick. Next pan, I need some flour, which 
Because I don't have much of it. That's enough. Okay, loads of oil. Like, probably like three quarters of a cup. I don't know, roughly. Heaps. Just put heaps of oil in. Like, not deep frying heaps, but that's probably plenty. And then maybe like three tablespoons, sort of. <laughs> What's he doing on my computer? About three tablespoons of flour. Darling? Yes, dear? Darling, are you using those Desiree potatoes instead of the peasant potatoes? No, that, Carl's didn't have any, man. That, that ran out and all those people got upset about no. in that famine that we're, time? We're just, <laughs> we're, just, we're just going bog standard Carl's potatoes. Oh, dear. So, yeah, about three heaped tablespoons of flour into the oil. Mix it in, get it hot. As soon as it sort of gets hot, which you'll see because it'll sort of steam a bit, get the temperature right down, and you've got to stir this constantly. Because if it burns, it's ruined. You've got to start again. You could do this with wholemeal flour. I've done that before. It works quite nicely. And so the idea with this is you're sort of making like a roux again. It's a bit of a loose roux. Okay, so all that flour is in the oil now. It's like sort of greenish because of the olive oil. And then you want to cook this slowly until it sort of goes like a really light tan colour. It goes a bit browny. Too far and it's not good enough, but not enough and it won't work. So obviously we're cooking all the starch out of it. And, um, <laughs> And what we're going to do with this is once it's hot and cooked enough, we're going to stir it through the soup and it's going to emulsify in the soup and thicken it a little bit. It gives a nice sort of bready flavour. The idea with this soup is it's sort of like a, it kind of tastes like salt and vinegar chips in a soup, which is awesome. Everyone wants that. Anyway, that's, that's probably good for now. And we can have a little break and uh, I'll keep stirring this and then we'll do the last step. That's been on for like maybe 10 minutes now. I'm just going to try it. And it's a little bland, that stock's rubbish. I'll put a touch more, I'm gonna like salt it up as well. Just tastes like celery, that stock, anyway. Let's put some salt over here. Good pinch of salt. And if you have a look at the color of this, you can see it's sort of browning a little bit. It's probably about halfway now, but it's sort of yellowiness. It's getting close, that's good. You can maybe see a few little chunks come up from the bottom there. That's fine, but if they stay on the bottom like that, they'll start to burn. And once a little bit starts to burn, like you'll just get black chunks through the whole thing, it's just ruined. So a couple more minutes. Then we're gonna um, just come over here and get our unnecessarily weighty vegetable. I'm just going to give that to his dog because he looks hungry. Bear! <laughs> He's just going to run away. <laughs> you know. Bear's not touching he, he, he should enjoy that. And, um, is he enjoying it? Not really. But maybe another couple of minutes on this roux and then we'll put it together. So we'll see you in just a touch. Okay, this is all coming along nicely. That soup's tasting a lot better with a bit of salt. Now we're going to get Maximo Spice Wizard here. Chuck some more cumin in. Plenty of that stuff. Just needed a bit more cumin flavour. You had enough of that? Yeah, I'll put a bit more in. No, that's good, that's good. Excellent spicing. That's good. Gonna give this some more stirring. It's getting really close. See you in about five. Color of this now, it's sort of like a nice little light caramel. Okay, this is the next trick. Vinegar, malt vinegar. Quarter of a cup. You've gotta go by taste because man, you can ruin it if you put too much vinegar in. Again, we're thinking salt and vinegar chips here. Actually, probably not as vinegary as salt and vinegar chips. Okay, this off now. You can always add more later if you need. Okay, this is the next trick. Takes you come here. You kind of need a second person for this. It's pretty hard otherwise. Someone to stir the soup sort of briskly. Just keep it in a circle, nice and brisk. Yep, that's perfect. And then we're going to go a spoonful at a time. Dribble this in, and it's got to be moving. Yeah. So you dribble this in. You chuck the whole thing in one go. It's going to explode in your face, and you'll be really upset until all of this. Oil and flour mixture is in the soup. And that soup's starting to thicken up a little bit. Spoon for a time. Let's see how we go here. Keep stirring. So a nice little bit of the scribble through the scribbles. Oh, there we go. And now we've got a sludge fit for any peasant. Good, bit more vinegar. You want it to be vinegary. I like to just put a little splash of balsamic on the top of each bowl when it's finished as well. Adds a bit of zing. Oh, that's smelling just right. We can basically serve it now. I'm gonna keep going with the vinegar. This is thick and goopy and delicious. And like seriously, how simple is that? Cumin, potato, water, vinegar. Now you need, you need to serve this with some delicious bread, like a good sourdough or maybe a rye bread. Oh wait, 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 wait. This bastard, yes. Oh man. <laughs>
that toast's probably just a bit burnt in the butter. Absolute slatherings of butter, like it's gonna make it good. Okay, a little bit of balsamic, just if you want. A bit of extra zing. Mommy. A wee bit of parsley from the garden. Here's the sprinkle. And we serve it like that, with a spoon, obviously. Perfect peasant dish. Costs bugger all. Tastes amazing. And like I say, I've been doing this for over a decade. Never let me down. Thanks, Ace.